It's time! Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Well, this fighter has read the Marquess of Queensbury rules cover to cover. Truly one of the best boxers we have in the UFC today. And he works everything off of that jab. Oh, yeah. The jab is what got him to the show. He is just a phenomenal boxer, and John, I love you throwing out the Queensberry uh -huh. rules in the walk-off for this man because he signifies everything that is boxing. He's a guy that loves the sport. He wanted to take boxing on his back and bring it to mixed martial arts and show that it, it is as an effective form of combat as anything else. He said, I'll walk away from an Olympic opportunity to take my sport into the octagon and show that we are the best fighters in the world. And he's done that to this point in the UFC. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach as well. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 237 pounds. Fighting out of New Delhi, India, live. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Left-hand punch from the clinic. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Lee. And he landed the right hand there. A little single collar tie there. Right hand punch from the clinch. Huge knee land. They're certainly getting after it early. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Nice punch land over the top. 
Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Oh, a huge block there. All right, single collar tie now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? in his opponent. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And they separate. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Guys, really throwing with authority. Lee's shot there is blocked. Right hand punches the clinch. Oh man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just misses with the right hook. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Knee to the body. Both guys landing big shots. Look at how fast. The only person I can do this to is maybe John. John, there's a, there's a weight difference. I don't know if you know jiu-jitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm going to do this to anybody, it's Eddie. Massive head kick. Big punch land to the middle. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Pretty good right hand. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Nice shot to the body there. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so a huge round for him there, DC, particularly when it came to the head kicks. Take us through the replay. I mean, will. those head kicks were beautiful. He was finding a spot. He was wrapping it around his opponent's arms and landing those head kicks over and over and over. He did a good job of really, really setting his opponent up with his hands and then taking those opportunities that were presented to him. All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. 
timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice. Another clinch position. Just unable to quite find that range. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Nice combination there by Lee. Single collar tie now. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, that was double leg. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. He's going to tag armbar here. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Nicely done. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. He has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Got the single collar tie. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Big knee lands right to his opponent's midsection. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest, you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. Punch over the top. Nice head kick. All right, he'll engage that six out of the tie, folks. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Comes in close, controls his opponent's posture, and lands a nasty elbow. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Beautiful kick. 20 seconds left. Takedown defense holds up. Nice job staying busy here on the clinch. Final seconds. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. All right, single collar tie now. And the horn sounds on round two. There's no way he's going to recover. And he 
need you to get out there, and I want you. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness, the volume. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with. It's gonna be very interesting to see if he can maintain this over 15 minutes. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice kick. in the single collar tie. Lee's uppercut, but that one is blocked. That's a big strike right there. They're able to land there with the straight left. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, nice right hand. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Oh, man, that, you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm gonna tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Big head kick. Just over three minutes to go. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Starting to do some really significant... Oh! 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 He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent here very fast. Oh, he might be out. So inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping him in full guard. He jumps on a headlock. We call this in wrestling just a headlock. And if you're not careful, you can get stuck in an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. To push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now, watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. He goes flat. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Oh, and that is it. Choked him to sleep with the arm trying. The moment he dropped his chest, it dropped all of his weight on his opponent's neck and put him to sleep. Jiu-Jitsu practitioners around the world celebrating the effort of that young man tonight. Oh, my goodness! What a performance! Yeah, that's about as good as it gets with that choke. And if you're not willing to tap out as he was not, then you're going to go to sleep. And that's exactly what happened. A beautiful setup and even better technique to get the finish to put him out cold. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, one second of the third round. For the winner, by submission, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened, man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard, and his opponent is known 
to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.